All right, hi Kailani, this is Justin Lamb representing Aussie Skates. Um, congratulations on your first Grand Prix competition. Thank you. A few questions. First one is, how did it feel to win your first Challenger Series competition, which was also an Olympic qualifying event? Oh, that was so exciting. It was probably the most exciting competition of my life. Uh, I felt really prepared for the competition, um, and nothing was really a surprise. I felt really good going into the free skate actually, I wasn't that nervous going to the free skate, but in the short program I was so nervous, my legs were shaking, it was crazy, but the free I actually calmed down, which is odd because sometimes when I'm first after the short program I get really nervous for the free, but it didn't work that way, so I was kind of nervous that I wasn't nervous, if that makes sense. It all worked out in the end. Yeah, it did. That's great. And can you describe what it's like to be invited to your first ISU Grand Prix Series event? Oh, it's such an honor and I am so grateful to be invited to my first Sydney Grand Prix. I've been waiting to be invited for so many years now and I, I, like, it was just such an awesome thing to get that email at like 5 in the morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that's when I found out when I woke up and I was just, I just, I didn't even read the email. I just saw Skate Canada as the kind of headline and I was like, Oh my god, they're not gonna just message me like just that for no reason. <laughs> I was like, and I just realized I'd been invited and I was so excited. Oh, that's amazing. And have you set any specific goals for uh, this competition? This got, uh, yeah, this competition, this is my sixth ISU of the, yeah, sixth, I'm pretty sure, ISU of the season, which is uh, like a lot in such a short amount of time. Um, and basically, it was, I mean, I did such a good job at Nebelhorn that. I had to kind of, I didn't think that I would be able to do better than, I, there was flaws in the free skate, but in, as in short program wise, mm -hmm. I wanted to try something much harder. Uh, and so my only goal coming into this was just to nail that triple loop, triple loop. I really wanted to do it. And it's in the second half of the program, which is quite difficult. So I was able to do that. So I'm very happy. That was great to see. Yeah. All right. Next question. Your free program is a really different from the traditional fast opening, slow yeah. middle section. Um, and that routine, um, it builds in momentum and intensity until the very finish. Was that intentional? Yeah, I mean, we spent so long cutting this music and kind of building the story around it. And I am so happy we did that because <laughs> it just turned into something great. Unfortunately, I couldn't deliver my best performance today, but I still love the program no matter what. It's okay, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And do you choose all of your own music? If so, what's the process like? Yeah, I definitely choose all of my own music. Uh, but I basically, I know when I've hit a winner when I can't stop listening to it. Mm -hmm. And if I just imagine what I do, I actually imagine my own programs in my head. Wow. And it's just a really intense process. I listen to it so much over and over again on repeat and that I love it so much. And that's how I know that it's going to be a good program and I have to skate to it. <laughs> Great. And the last question I have for you is that, um, let's see, your costumes do a lot of groundwork, communicating the mood before one musical note is played. How much input do you put into designing your outfits? Oh, yeah, I think about this a lot because I kind of think about the feel that I have when I skate and also listen to music, to the music. Uh, and I kind of pick costumes based on that idea, but I do kind of take inspiration from runway pieces and then I just get all these pictures together and then I draw up my own of which pieces I want and then I will kind of like scan that over to my dressmaker and write a big book on what I want and I put some things that, I, that is definitely a must in capitals and then she goes through and highlights everything that is like key. That's great. All right, thank you so much Kylie. Thank you so much.